The Ali Burke Destroyer is one of the most successful destroyer designs of the late 20th and early 21st century. Much like the ubiquitous Fletcher class of World War II, the Ali Burke forms the backbone of the United States Navy surface fleet, and variants of the design are currently in service with the South Korean and Japanese navies. Although construction of the USS Ali Burke began in 1988, making the class over three decades old, the fundamental design is so sound that not only are there new units currently under construction, but the USN plans to continue acquiring the vessels into the 2030s. They are still world-class warships, and are, arguably, the standard by which other destroyers are measured. Currently, there are no fewer than 68 vessels in service with the United States Navy, making the Ali Burke the most widely procured destroyer in the world today. Indeed, currently the USN plans to commission a total of 89, and Ali Burke destroyers will be in service with the United States well into the last half of this century. One of the primary reasons for the success of the Burke is the balance it strikes between the fundamentals of warship design. All warships balance a number of fundamental design parameters such as displacement, manning, speed, range, sensors, weapons, combat system and cost. In many ways, the Ali Burke hits a sweet spot in balancing these different parameters, many of which stand in tension with each other. Indeed, a critical element in the design's success has been its relatively large displacement, which not only allows for a large weapons load, but provides room for growth, future-proofing the warship. We are currently seeing a similar trend in European designs, such as the Type 26 and Constellation class frigates which have a greater displacement than most destroyers of the previous generation. This allows the Burke to have a devastating number of missiles, with a total of 96 Mark 41 vertical launch system cells from the Flight 2A variant onwards. Another critical element in the Burke's longevity is the wide range of roles the vessel is designed to fulfill. It is a truly formidable air warfare destroyer and is no less capable as an anti-submarine platform, and, although is less well armed with anti-ship missiles than Russian counterparts, packs a devastating land strike capability. The heart of the Ali Burke destroyer is the Aegis combat system. An often overlooked element of warship capability, combat systems are, in effect, critical enablers, allowing the weapons, sensors, defensive systems, and decision makers to form one coherent entity. They are the ship's central nervous system. At its first introduction in 1983, Aegis was the world's first complete combat management system and has been through nine generational upgrades since then, with Baseline 10 set to achieve initial operating capability in 2023. The Aegis weapon system contains the following core components, the command and decision system, the weapons control system, Aegis display system, and trainer and testing systems. Aegis takes the information which is provided by the ship's sensors and generates a coherent picture of the battle space, automatically tracking and evaluating hundreds of surface, submerged and airborne contacts. The system can then automatically engage hostile contacts with the ship's various weapons. Aegis is such a capable battle management system that one unit can control the actions of non-Aegis equipped vessels via data link. Indeed, through the cooperative engagement capability, a single Aegis destroyer can control the fires of a whole task force. Air warfare is undeniably the Ali Burke's greatest strength. If Aegis is the ship's brain, then the Spy-1D radar is its eyes. This massively powerful radar has a peak power output of between 4 to 6 megawatts, giving the system a very long range. Indeed, the Spy-1D is powerful enough that it can track satellites in low Earth orbit, as demonstrated by the destruction of a satellite by USS Lake Erie in 2008. The SPY-1D is a passive electronically scanned array, or PESA radar, which electronically steers the radar beams rather than rotating the radar mechanically. This allows for extremely fast scan rates. The four radar panels, which are arranged to provide continual 360 degree radar coverage, are made up of 4,100 discrete elements and have an aperture of 3.6 meters each. With SPY-1D tracking hostile air threats at long range, the Aegis combat system can engage them with the Burke's impressive air defense capability. The primary area air defense weapon is the Standard Missile 2, or SM-2. The currently deployed SM-2 Block 3B has a range of 90 nautical miles and is capable of engaging sea skimming and high altitude targets. Although these weapons require target illumination from the vessel's Mark 99 Fire Control System's three Mark 82 missile illuminators, 
This is only needed for the last moments before intercept, allowing far larger numbers of missiles to be in the air simultaneously. For short-range air defense, these vessels are no less formidably equipped, with the medium-ranged evolved Sea Sparrow missile, four of which can be quad-packed into a single VLS cell, and a number of phalanx close-in weapon systems. With such a powerful radar, combat system, and truly impressive defensive missile capability, the Burks are still the world's premier air defense destroyer. Anti-submarine warfare is certainly not a weakness either. The Burke's primary sonar system is the hull-mounted SQS-53C, which combines a high-power active and passive operating systems in an all-digital architecture. The system can independently search, detect, track, and identify hostile and friendly submarines from short to medium range, and is the vessel's primary sonar system. The SQS-53C is supplemented by the SQR-19 Tactical Toad Array Sonar, which provides far more sensitive passive detection of long-range submarine contacts. As the Toad Array is often deployed at a substantial distance from the ship, it can be used as a biostatic sonar, acting as the receiver for other active sonar pings. The SQR-19 will be replaced with the far more capable TB-37 multifunction Toad Array Sonar, which allows greater access to parts of the water column in addition to its increased sensitivity. These capable sonar systems are supplemented by two ASW helicopters, such as the dipping sonar equipped MH-60 Romeo Seahawk, allowing for a cooperative prosecution of submarine targets. With a hull-mounted and towed array sonar supported by two heliborne dipping sonars, a single Burke can rapidly triangulate a submarine contact. Once located, the Burke can deploy its own formidable ASW weapons, such as the RUM-139 VL ASROC, which is a rocket-assisted homing torpedo. Fired from the Mark 41 vertical launch system, the ASROC has a range of around 11 nautical miles. Once over its target, it drops a homing torpedo, allowing for a long-range engagement of detected submarines. The ASROC is supplemented by conventional triple torpedo launchers and the air-dropped Mark 54 lightweight torpedo. Anti-ship weapons are, arguably, the Ali Burke's greatest weakness. As is common for most Western navies, surface-to-surface -surface weapons are not emphasized in the same way as they are in Russian or Chinese navies. Within the USN's doctrine and force structure, the nuclear submarine and carrier air wings are the primary anti-shipping platforms. However, the Burke is still adequately equipped with eight Harpoon anti-ship missiles, which provide a basic, though credible, anti-shipping capability. This will be substantially improved with the introduction of the long-range anti-ship missile. The LRISM is an anti-shipping variant of the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range and is far more lethal and longer ranged than the Harpoon. The LRISM is currently being integrated into both canister launchers and the Mark 41 VLS system, which will provide the Ali Burke with a very dangerous anti-shipping capability. Additionally, the large VLS capacity of this class allows for a potent land strike capability through the deployment of the Tomahawk land attack cruise missile. The Block 5 Tomahawk is currently entering production, and this provides the venerable 1000 km range Tomahawk with an improved warhead and the ability to hit moving targets at sea. When you add the ubiquitous 5-inch gun, this rounds out a truly impressive set of sensors and weapons that make the Burke one of the most useful warships in the world. If there is any role you need fulfilled, chances are the Ali Burke could do it. There is, however, one primary weakness in the design of the Ali Burke, which has, arguably, prevented it from seeing more widespread use. Cost. Although the production line has been open for many years, leading to a reasonably affordable acquisition cost for the United States Navy, these ships are manpower intensive. The complement of a Flight 2A Ali Burke is around 320 personnel, nearly double the 180 on the Australian Hunter class, which is almost the same size and will fulfill the same roles. Manning costs are a large element of the vessel's through life cost, making the Burkes a relatively expensive vessel to operate. Nevertheless, even with this minor flaw, the Ali Burke remains, arguably, the most successful contemporary destroyer with a total operational life that will likely exceed 50 years, certainly the hallmark of a truly excellent warship design. The most advanced variant, the Flight 3, is currently under construction and will replace the venerable Spy 1D with the much more capable Spy 6 AESA radar, which will allow simultaneous anti-air and anti-ballistic missile operations. 
providing additional protection from anti-ship ballistic missiles such as the DF-21D. With these new additions, the Burke will continue to act as the shield to the United States Navy supercarriers, allowing for the continued global projection of naval power well into this century. Although certainly not as prestigious as a Ford-class aircraft carrier, it is actually the Arleigh Burke which is the foundation of US naval power, and thus the foundation of Washington's global reach. It is, truly, a class that will go down in history as one of the greatest designs of the missile era.